The video tool enables students to record a video to upload directly to their Seesaw portfolio. In my class, we use it a lot to capture video of particular phenomena or the results of our design challenges. So as a few examples, um, on the left-hand side of this slide, this is our stoichiometry airbag challenge where students were tasked with determining the exact uh, amount of particular reactants they would need to create a fixed amount of gas at a measured temperature and pressure. So once they had their airbags all ready to go, they started the video tool and captured the reaction to upload to their portfolio. So they provided some video evidence of how effective their calculations were at producing the right amount of gas. In the lower left, we have the egg cart crash challenge. Um, the students recorded their data both on paper as well as on video where they showed this was our ramp right here and we would set the ramp at different angles and their little egg cart would go down the ramp and crash into the wall and so the students used the video tool in Seesaw which has a nice feature you can video and then pause and they would take the egg out and then re-record you know hit the uh, pause button to start the recording again and show that the egg survived hit the pause change the angle of the ramp run it again so that their video showed all of their tests until the egg actually cracked. Similarly, we used it with this design challenge, which is our bridge construction. And you'll notice this was a very well-designed truss bridge. It was doing a good job of handling the weight. Uh, this particular screenshot is right before, pretty close to when it collapsed. Uh, this one was able to hold about 60 pounds. Um, but uh, it allows us to capture the results of our design challenges and um, as well as you could capture a presentation in class, a performance in class, a poem in class, a demonstration in class. Uh, we just happen to use it anytime we've had some type of design challenge. Another way I've used it is to have students demonstrate their understanding. So early in the year in anatomy they did the um, anatomical features of a gummy bear where they were learning about all the different anatomical terminology. And as their report, they had to use Seesaw and the Seesaw video tool to record a description showing all of these anatomical features. And what you'll see in this student video is how they're able to pause. Uh, and so you'll see the video kind of stop and change every now and then because you're able to pause as you're videoing, set something up a little bit different, and keep recording. I am a gummy bear, and I'm going to teach you directional terminology. Okay. This is my anterior side. See? You can see my shining face. This is my posterior side. I'm sorry. Yes, that's my gluteus maximus. Next, we'll move on to cranial, caudal, medial, and lateral. So what you're seeing is the video changes when they use that pause feature and they change their setup. So moving on a little bit, we can see that she's describing the different parts and then how the gummy bear can be dissected according to different anatomical planes. This is my front. This is my back. If I do a medial section, I'm cut right down the nose and cut right in half. A parasagittal cut is off to the side. So this is my lateral and this is my medial. Finally, I get... And again, this is what the students submitted as their report, and I could really get a sense of their level of understanding based upon the video that they created in Seesaw.